Welcome back to Idaho Today. As the summer heats up, so does the likelihood of a cyanobacterial bloom. Protect your family and your pets by knowing what to look for before recreating at your favorite lake. Exposure to cyano habs and their toxins can make people sick and get this, it can even be deadly for your pet. So we're joined today by health program specialist with the Idaho Division of Public Health. We have Will Reynolds. Will, great to have you here. I'm happy to be here, thank you. Okay, so cyanobacteria, otherwise known as HABs. What yes. should we know about HABs? Uh, so HABs is short for harmful algal blooms. Okay. Um, under certain circumstances, cyanobacteria um, grow rapidly. Okay. Um, or bloom. Mm -hmm. um, so usually this is in uh, warm bodies of water, lakes, reservoirs, uh, ponds. Uh, it can also occur in rivers, um, other locations. Um, but the Cyanobacteria, they can produce toxins mm -hmm. as well, um, which can be harmful, as you mentioned, to uh, animals and humans alike. Uh, they can appear at the top of water, um, as, uh, as you can see here, uh, almost like paint-like streaks across oh. the tops of water. Okay. Uh, they can appear almost like pea soup, um, as foam, as scum on the surface of water. Um, in a variety of colors, really, from uh, bright green to bright blue, um, which, uh, you know, gives to their, their nickname, um, blue-green algae. Um, they can also give off a, a strong smell. Uh, so... You want to avoid that when you see it in the water, because what are the health risks then? If we come upon our favorite lake and we're like, yeah, we're gonna have a day on the beach, we're gonna have lunch, then we're gonna go swimming, and then you come up and you see kind of a thick pea soup, if you will, and you smell some of that algae. What are some of the health issues yeah, that could occur? Absolutely. So if we, if, if you're not sure about what you're looking at, okay. whether or not it's a hab, um, we always say when in doubt, stay out. Okay. And that includes your pets too. So um, bring, bring plenty of drinking water um, for yourself and your pets, and then be on the lookout for signs at the entryways to your favorite recreation areas. Um, in terms of the health effects, mm -hmm. um, there's a variety of exposure pathways, um, so it can be inhaled, it can be an exposure through the skin, it Ooh. can, uh, you know, if you, hopefully you're not drinking that water, yeah. but it does happen occasionally on accident. Especially if it's a small child playing in the water, you know Absolutely. that they're gonna swallow some. Yeah, yeah I have a small child. Yes, and, right. <laughs> you know, occasionally they get that look on their face, like, I'm gonna do it even if you don't want me to. Yes, yes. Um, <laughs> or they do it unintentionally, they're trying to hold their breath and they end up inhaling. Either right. way, it goes in the mouth and into the belly, which is not good. Right. But what can happen? Um, so it can start with a stomach ache. Okay. Um, there can be vomiting, diarrhea, um, which nobody likes to talk about, but of course it does happen. Yeah. Um, stomach cramps, um, skin irritation, like blisters, rashes, Ooh. might get a headache. Um, in more significant circumstances, there can be uh, issues with your liver, with your kidneys. Um, it can affect your nervous system. Um, so yeah, absolutely want to be careful to avoid those It's things. toxic, and then it can be even deadly for your pets, which you know what they're yes. running around, they're retrieving the ball, yeah. they're splashing the water, they're gonna drink the lake. They're gonna So they're likely the gonna have more of it ingested, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, of course, dogs are gonna try to lap all the water up because yes. they're tired, they're running. Um, and uh, it happens for wildlife and, and livestock as well oh. in those situations. Um, so when it does happen to animals, it can be more significant just because they're, they're drinking more of the water or they're splashing around in the algae. It gets on their fur, they'll get out of the water, start okay. licking it off, and um, you know that can cause similar um, issues. Similar issues. So we know we want to avoid cyanobacterial blooms in Idaho. How, and you said when we go to our favorite spots, make sure you keep an eye out for the signs. But are there other ways that we can also know before we even head out? Yeah, so uh, if you visit healthandwelfare.idaho.gov okay. and in the search feature you type in um, recreational waters, um, you can find a page uh, with all sorts of advice including about HABs. Um, for how to stay safe in the water when you're recreating, including for lakes, reservoirs, uh, rivers, pools, things of that nature. And then there's also a link from there to um, recreational water health advisories. Got it. So on that web page, you'll find a map um, that actually pinpoints each of the different lakes and reservoirs where you might find things like HABs, uh, things like uh, 
you know, fish consumption advisories, okay. uh, beach closures, all very important swimmers itch. to know Absolutely. before you head out. Yeah, you don't want to go camping and then have swimmers itch. That's yeah. not fun. Or <laughs> most importantly, get Habs. That would not yeah. be good. Or be exposed to Habs. Mm -hmm. um, and then also reporting Habs is very important too. Um, yeah. So let's say maybe you're a backcountry hiker and you're coming up on your favorite mountain lake that hasn't had a chance to be observed yet, mm -hmm. and you notice signs. Do your due diligence, right? Do your sure. part, be responsible, be a good steward, and report it. Which, can they do that at the website as well? Uh, well, we would send you to uh, DEQ, the okay. Department of Environmental Quality's website, deq.idaho.gov. Okay. Um, and then again, using the search feature for cyanobacterial I know that's a long word, so just harmful algal blooms is good. Okay. Um, and that'll take you to information about recent testing results as well as an area where you can report online. Excellent. You can use their uh, reporting email, algae at deq.idaho.gov, and there's a phone number there Wonderful. as well. And I know we had a list too of resources. Let's go ahead and pop that up again one more time. Uh, Will, thank you so much. Everyone, make sure that you are on alert for those HABs out there in those recreational waters as we head out this summer. And if you do come across it, you know, report it. Be a good steward. Well, thank you so much. Greatly appreciate thank it. You. And everyone, stick around. More to come right here on Idaho Today right after the break.